Hi everyone, I'm Iverson Lee. Welcome to this episode 4 of Pathway to Entrepreneurship video series here. So in this episode here, I'm going to share with you something, something very interesting. The title of episode number 4 is what we call time creation. You know, so because when we're on the path of entrepreneurship, right, you want to do a lot of things. A lot of things we want it to happen not a week from now, not a year from now. We want a lot of things to happen like yesterday, right? So, but the only thing is all of us here only have 24 hours per day, right? Then the next question is how can we get more things done, right, in one day, right, uh, compared to uh, what we can do in like uh, um, one week time, right? So, how do we do this is since we cannot actually multiply our own time. Is there a way for us to do more not in one day? So uh, normally what people will do here, they will talk about, right, if I work harder, I work instead of working like eight hours per day, I work for like 12 hours per day. Or some of them, they say that uh, maybe I take a, a part-time job, right? They're going to do more of this thing here to make more money. But the thing is like this, they want to be more hardworking, but in the end, I would say hardworking strategy is very essential if you want to create whatever success you have in life. But hardworking strategy might not be applicable to everyone and it might not be applicable uh, for throughout our whole lifetime, right? Because when we are young, hard work strategy is very, very good. But what if we're getting older, yeah, we get tired. So we need to actually not only just hard work, we need to actually know how do we leverage on other people as well? Yeah, so this is what we're going to talk about, the art of leverage. Whenever we're talking about time creation, we want to actually uh, create more stuff and get more things done instead of actually using our own time. As I told all of you here just now that we only have 24 hours per day. Yeah? There's always a limit. No matter how hardworking we are, how committed we are, how driven we are, there are only a limit of things we can do. So how do we actually get leverage on other people? Yeah, so this we're going to talk about today because if you're able to do this effectively, then you actually can create more results that a lot of people only can do it in 10 years time. You can do it within like uh, uh, within a few years of time, like one to two years, you can create um, a lot, a lot of great results. That's, this is a common trait that we've seen from a lot, a lot of successful people. Yeah, so let me ask you one question. Do you know yeah, how do you leverage your own time or not? This is what I'm going to show you here. And before we proceed here, so let me just show you, you need to actually uh, get your butter chart ready. So for some of you are very new here, you, um, let me show you the link. Yeah, you can actually download the chart here. So these are the link that you can download the chart. Yeah, uh, www.joeyab.com slash butter chart. So just click on the link shown on the screen here. You can get your chart ready. And what you need to do here is just to key in your, your uh, date of birth, your time of birth, and then your gender. And there you go. So now, if you haven't got your chart now, print it right now and pause this video for now and then print your chart right now. Okay, welcome back. So now you already got your chart uh, ready. So let me just show you what your chart looks like. So on the screen right now, as you can see a sample of a butter chart here. So this is the one that you're actually going to uh, use uh, throughout this video. Okay, so now, since we're talking about leverage of time, right? but a lot of us here normally, yeah, we always believe that we are the one that can do the job the best, right? So it's very hard for us to actually uh, delegate our stuff to uh, a lot of people, especially for wealth structure people. So what do I mean wealth structure people? Wealth structure people is a, a, a way of, uh, or a category of a uh, butter chart that we use, we can actually tell uh, what type of nature someone actually have whenever they approach uh, uh, their businesses, their work, and how do they do with their professional life. Yeah, so then how do you know someone that is a wealth structure or very strong wealth element? Because if you later on, which I'm going to show you, if you discover that your chart here, your wealth structure or your wealth is very high, which means that you don't find a value of delegating. Yeah? You want to do everything yourself. The reason is because you think you're only the best person to do the job. You know? So if you are one of this, the first thing here is you need to actually change your mindset to, to actually know how to actually leverage and triple yeah, your results by actually getting other people help to do the job done. Yeah? So then how do you actually tell whether your wealth element is high or too high because high is not a problem is the only problem is when you're too high sometimes is a lot of ego and you think you don't want to get help so you need to know this right now first yeah is this the thing that's stopping you from leverage on other people 
Yeah, so let me show you the chart here. So this is a sample of a, uh, if you're able to plot your chart here, so what I need you to do here is you can actually look at this area here. I will zoom into this area. This is what we call the uh, radar chart here. So let me just give you a, a zoom in version here. Once, once you got this, I want you to pay attention on this part here, the wealth element. Do you see a wealth element here? So what we want here is, is the value. We want to check the value of your wealth element. How do we know the value of the wealth element? There are two a, a, a shape here. I want you to focus on the beige color. As you can see here, there are two colors here. One is a beige color, one is a purple color. For our sake of discussion here, we're only focusing on the beige color shape here. So from this value here, here would be 100 and, and here would be zero, right? So you look at this chart here, this person, the wealth element is quite high, right? So if, if you discover your chart here, if an element here is, wealth element is 90% or above, then you, your wealth element is considered quite high. So then you are actually uh, belongs to the category that you find it hard to delegate. You know, so this is, then how do you do about this? So first of all, you need to learn one thing, learn how to trust people. You know, I, maybe they are not as good as you, yeah, but maybe they can, even they can do like 70% of what you do, but throughout time, you know, they will become better eventually, right? So these are the part here that you have to look at first, you know, what's stopping you from getting other people help. So if your wealth element is very high, learn one very important skill here, learn how to ask for help. You know, this is very, very important. So now, once we actually know about this, let me just uh, bring you to the next uh, level here, is to how do we actually uh, leverage on other people? Yeah, leverage, a lot of people say, right, is, is it a bad thing to leverage on other people? Yeah, actually, it's not, right? Because you, if you're able to actually give or pass your job to other people to do, you're actually creating jobs opportunity for other people as well, right? So I'm not asking you to actually sort change people, you know, or, or exploit people. I'm asking a fair exchange, right? Because if you want to get someone to do stuff for you, of course, you need to provide certain exchange value for them. So how do you actually... Uh, leverage on other people here so on the slide right now there are five ways other people can help you right so especially if you pursue an entrepreneur a path here you need to hire staff you need to get people to pull everything together you have a dream right you need to get a team to pursue the dream there are five things that normally we can get help from other people so at the screen we show here we call this the time right so other people time so they are t-i-m-e-s so, so let me explain to you this actually is more than the word times here each of these words here actually represent an aspect how you can get help from. Yeah, so let me show you on the next screen here. So here we're going to talk about uh, the thing here is T-I-M-E-S basically represent time, idea, money, experience and system. Yeah, so technically it means that you actually can get help through five ways. So the first way here is you're using the uh, time aspect. Yeah, so which means that all of us here have limited time. Right, for every day, 24 hours. But there are some people right now, they don't know what to do with their life. They are very free. So you can leverage on them to help you do something. It could be research, it could be bookkeeping, or it could be some very tedious administrative stuff as well. So this is the one you can actually leverage on other people. So the other part that you can actually leverage on other people also about ideas. Yeah, because some people here are very creative. They have a lot of way uh, to actually market your product. So it's always good, you know, instead of actually reinvent the wheel. So why not we already find someone that already create great results doing it, an idea, and we just tap to it and then yeah, get those people to help you to actually create the same results that they created for themselves in the first place, right? So this part is about ideas. And then the third thing here, right? So with some of you here, yeah, there are two ways actually to build a business. One way, yeah, you make your, your you start your own business, you start from scratch, and then you try to make profit, and then subs hopefully that you're able to amass certain fortune, then you can create a huge company. Or the other way here is you have an idea, you have a brilliant idea, but yet you can actually get help from investor who is someone that have confidence in your idea to provide financial support for you so you are ready from day one. Instead of working uh, on yourself for the next five years or you might get tired or you might not even able to make it, why not use from start you equip yourself from financial uh, capacity here. So the third part here we're talking about money. So the fourth thing here you can tap from people here is also about experience. Yeah, experience talking about skill, talking about knowledge. Because a lot of things that you want but you cannot get, the reason you cannot get it is because 
it's not because of your butter chart is bad. It's because you don't know the know-how, right? So there are certain things that you want to get. The reason you don't get it because there's certain knowledge that you don't have. But this knowledge actually, uh, maybe a lot of people actually already know how to do this. They have the right skill to do it. Why not we actually engage with these people and get the things done, right? So this is the fourth thing here. So the final thing here is about the system. Yeah, the system talking about a platform, other people platform, other people uh, infrastructure, other people customer base, right? Because whatever you're doing right now, instead of actually acquiring your customer from scratch, right? There are some people already have a group of customer that also interested in your product as well, right? So it's always good to tap to their platform, their network, their opportunity, their system to actually uh, get things rolling, yeah? So these are the five things that you can strategically plan. How do you do this? Then, how do we see all these five things here in from the Batsu perspective, right? That this leads us to the next question here. In order to see this from a Batsu perspective, so let me just show you the thing here. Yeah, so since we are talking about using other or leverage on other people's time here, so the time in Batsu, we're talking about resources. Yeah, so some of you learn parts, we're talking about there's a wealth element, there are uh, output element, but there are also a resource element. So in parts of study, if you're talking about the art of leverage, right, we are talking about, we are referring to the resource element. Yeah? So why is a resource element? Yeah? So let me just go a little bit technical here. Some of you might be interested. Yeah, it's just, I just explain one shot here. If you don't is, uh, understand about this, if you're very new, it's fine. Yeah, so because this doesn't prevent you from benefit from this video, which I'm going to show you later on, right? So, for example, let's say this is you, right? So let me just, uh, this is you here. And then in part of chart, if you're talking about uh, entrepreneurship, you're talking about creating uh, money, right? So we are talking about wealth element, right? So this is a one very popular element that we constantly refer to when we learn part of. So in order to find your wealth element, we look at what the element that you counter, right? So for you, you counter the wealth element, that's the, that's the element that is your wealth. So the thing is like this, every time you counter, you counter the wealth element, you're actually using effort, right? So which means that in long run, yeah, you're not, uh, you might get tired, right? Do you, do you realize that, yeah, if you work like nonstop, yeah, we work uh, throughout the whole weekend, eventually we get burned out, we might get health issues, right? So the more you counter this element, the wealth element, if you're working towards it, you, every time you counter means that your energy in depletes out. So you get tired, right? So this might not be very good for long term, it might be good in short term, right? But in long run, it might not be a good strategy to start with. So now, then how do we actually look for this? So because if you are counter the wealth element, which means you're working for the wealth element, which means that uh, you work hard for money. Right? This is what we do, right? We, like, we, we, we start work from 9 uh, to 5. Uh, PM every single day we repeat the whole process we work hard for money yeah this is essential but what is the next level here we're talking about leverage here we don't look at what you uh, counter the element because you still need effort what we look for is what is the wealth element counter right so the wealth element actually also counter another element because if you're able to look for this then which means that we want to ask for what is the wealth element of your wealth element right so if your wealth element the element that counter is the resource element so since you know this, then what is the logic here? So since the wealth element, we also counter another element. So now we are no longer using ourselves to make money. We're using the wealth to make more money. So wealth element counter resource. This is mean that you make money work hard for you. Don't you think this is better? So in, if you're doing this group here, so you no longer actually depends on the... Uh, you to make money. So that's why the resource element is the leverage element. We like resource element. Right? So now, let's check your chart whether you have this resource element or not. Resource element, yeah, resource element div divided into two ele uh, elements here. They are direct resource and then they're indirect resource. So we put a short form here. DR stands for direct resource and IR stands for indirect resource. So either of these elements here represent resource. So the next goal here is you want to check yeah, whether your chart has a resource element or not. Yeah? So let me just uh, bring out a sample chart here. 
So this is a sample chart here. So let's see. Yeah. So which part we look at? Because in this uh, chart here, there are so many pieces of information, right? We only interested on this area. You see here, right? So these are the area we are looking at. Yeah. So let me just zoom in this area here. Since we know that resource element are comprises of DR and IR, right? So the first thing here is you want to check, yeah, whether uh, your chart have IR or DR or not. Yeah. So if you have it then you, it's easily for you to get help from other people and you, your ability to leverage on other people are very, very high. You know? So where do you check for this element? So let me just uh, highlight for you where you should check for this. The first part you, you must check is from here. This part here, you're going to check from here, this first part. And then this, the, if you cannot find here, then you can look for here, here, or here. So these are the only area you want to look for this resource element. And what are these resource element? We look for either is direct resource, DR, or indirect resource, IR. Right? So let's, let's see whether this chart have this or not. Right? So here it's called IR, right? So this is indirect resource. There are one here. And you see a, a DR here. So another one is here. Okay, so let's zoom out again, see whether they have more. Wow, this chart has a lot. They got one IR here, one more, and then there's also an IR here. Wow, this is really cool. So let's look at the top to complete the whole list of checking. So the, the top here doesn't have e, e, G, and everything don't have. All right, so let's zoom out again. So in this chart here, we can conclude that they have four resource elements in the chart. So right now, I want you to check your own chart whether you have this resource element or not. If you have it, you just circle it. Yeah, that's it. Now, once you circle it, now I want to explain to you what does it mean. Since resource element represent time, right? It represent your ability to actually leverage on other people. Why represent time? Because if you're able to leverage on other people, you are the master of the time, right? You have more freedom to do uh, the thing you want to do. That's, that's why we like the resource element. That's what, and, and some of you ask, right? How come too much resource elements someone will say is lazy because you have too much resource element means that you have a lot of time and a lot of time uh, also means that we also look at on the opposite side that sometimes people have a lot of resource element they always feel that they have a lot of time that's why they don't do stuff you know so but it's your own decision to decide either you want to be the lazy one or you want to be the master of leverage right so these are the part that you need to actually look into so now what, what we're going to do now is we want to tell you the meaning, yeah, the meaning of all this, uh, uh, this resource element because it might appear on different area. Right? Yeah, so let's look at this uh, in the year. So if your resource found in the year element here also means that uh, the help or that you're able to leverage on your network circle, you know, your network circle or your friends or, or your peers on the industry. So that is where you get a lot of help from. So what if your resource element resides in the month. So if it resides in the month, which means that a lot of your help you can get from your colleague, you know, your colleagues or, or your fellow workers or even your boss or even your current company system or structure able to help you to actually uh, help you to actually achieve something that you want or give you more opportunity. And but what if the resource element appear in the day? If it appear in the day Someone that can able to help you or someone that you're able to leverage on them normally will come through your, it could be someone very close to you, either intimately or personally, it could be your spouse, it could be your very close friends or someone that very close to you. Yeah, these are the ones that if it's appear in the day. And finally, if it's appear in the hour, if your resource element appear in the hour, this means that uh, you can get help from your staff. You know, so it could be uh, if your, your juniors, yeah, or someone that actually lower ranking than you or your junior or these are the people that actually able to help you. So normally if you have an hour, you're very likely to attract a lot, a lot of good people yeah, to work for you. You know, have you met someone that, you know, some people, they are normally they can attract the great people. Very likely you'll find the resource element is in the hour. So how do you apply this? It's very simple. All you need to do is to identify where is the resource element is and then you choose which area you should put a lot of your time into, either in your, your network, your external circle, which is in the year pillar. If it's in the month, you should focus more time on your office, your boss. And for the day, you should actually look for a partnership or it could be uh, your spouse or someone close to you. 
or then if finally in the hour it could be your, your own staff or your children yeah, or someone are lower ranking than you. All right, so by choosing which time to spend into, because normally we don't actually talking about spending time, we're talking about investing time. So now you know yeah, where you should invest your time more into to be able to actually get someone to help you to create the result you want or to create the business that you want. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode number four here. So, uh, and of course, yeah, stay tuned here because on the next episode, which is the finale of the episode, is episode number five. We're going to talk about something very interesting. Let me show you a preview here. So we're going to talk about the eye of the future, right? So we're talking about how do you actually uh, anticipate uh, what are the likelihood things or opportunity will come along uh, your way here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on episode number five. Thank you.